So, you guys, my kitchen has been freaking horrible for the past like couple weeks. Like, what even is this? And how come nobody warned me? I was about to get like cereal and. I wasn't kidding when I said that this house was falling apart for everybody that criticized me. This Here's is the proof. proof. Living proof. This I'm not being extra. This house is falling apart. So dead and so ready to move out. Let's get it out of here. We need to. Let's go. Vibes, guys. Last time Eileen wanted to make cookies, and what happened, Eileen? Couldn't make them. Nothing to cook in this one. Oh, because you don't have a kitchen. Yeah, we don't have anything to cook stuff at the house, and this is why we're over here having a little snack because I can't. Stand this is what we've been home. doing, like just going out and getting stuff. That's annoying because we can't cook. I'm so glad that we only have a few days left at that house. Just a couple of days, and then that's it. We'll be out of that old rinky dink house. The whole thing about the house, babe, I'm really frustrated. I think it's time for us to see if we can just move on and start off fresh somewhere else. What do you think of this neighborhood? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. You want to take a chance? For us to buy, like, create something that belongs to us, babe? Like, are you serious? Of course. So we're, like, in the process of moving out of our old raunchy house. It's been a crazy past couple weeks for us. We already threw away the microwave for, like, a week ago. I got rid of the dining room. Like Set. three months ago. Mm -hmm. We had to eat standing up. Yeah. No, let me tell you my story, Lily. Nobody in this in this family is contributing and um, packing their stuff, okay? I believe it. Basically, I have packed the whole house by myself, nonstop. I feel like my adrenaline is like... On 10? Yes. Because some people take it too, like, oh, it's okay, I'll take care of it later, I'll take care of it later, and nothing I'm happens. Just chilling. On top of all this, and on top of all the chaos of trying to move, we also have a business to run. Oh, what happened, Eileen, to that company that reached out to you regarding the, the oh, sale or those posts? They emailed me saying that they wanted to work with me. They sent me like some mascara and mom had replied to them saying that I don't use products unless I think they're good. So they sent me it to um, use it and it was actually really good. So I was like, okay, I'll promote it. And then a few weeks later, our, our some of our followers were reaching out and saying, hey, you know, we haven't received the product. And it was only like $10, right? Mm -hmm. The product or even a confirmation email that they bought it. So tell me why me and Eileen email the lady back. The email doesn't exist. We go on the website, gone. This company so liked their product really good to me and I decided to give it a try and it was actually a really good product. I had posted, they paid me and all of a sudden I didn't hear back from them. They pressure you so hard. Yes, like, I was post, like this on in the Instagram story putting water on my eyes so that way people could see that it's <laughs> waterproof. I'm like this, You're like, <laughs> like a dumbass and then they're like, oh, it's fake, like what the I was just getting messages saying like they didn't receive their product. It was more frustrating because I was like, I don't want people to get the wrong idea of me. Like I'm the one scamming people and the one telling people like to buy this product and it's like, like it's just a scam. Like I don't want to be that type of person. I don't want to do that to our audience or to our followers. I think we learned a lesson right there. And I feel like that kind of held me back a little bit from my name promoting any product. I feel like we should take matters in our own hands. And I was thinking of Eileen and I doing like an Amigas tour. I guess I'm going to type a tour and maybe like taking your lip glosses. Maybe I can reach out to this guy. He's really cool and he's in the quinceanera world. His name is Chris. That's cute. Yes. Yeah, so I was thinking of maybe we should do that, Eileen, and go maybe do like a weekend too? out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I feel like I've always had this idea about doing like a tour and like going to another state or another city to see if girls want to come and hang out with us or even buy our products. It's not really like a girls trip. Like, woo, it's a business trip. Oh, oh, it's okay. uh, one it's a of business those. trip. Yes, right. I get it. Look, we can oh. take. We can go. Yes, Why are so in sync? Uh, uh oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Feel it. Oh. Never exactly like. I was thinking, since we don't have the house yet and our house is not going to be ready, mm -hmm. we can take a weekend and maybe go hit up like two cities, like maybe Phoenix or Vegas. I think that'd be Wait, okay, Vegas. first of all, I just want to know like why I was not included in this. Lately, you've been kind of like, you know, like. Oh man! You're always busy. You're always like doing you've been moving. Like you're moving. So what am I? I'm not gonna like 
go and bombard your house with my child and you're moving. I'm only picturing me and Eileen because lately Lily has been MIA. She's been flaking on me a lot. And so you know what I said? I'm gonna teach her a lesson. You're not going with us, Lily. Now this is a all girls trip? Well, I mean, it, well, I it's guess. just Eileen and Lurtz over here. I'm an amiga, so why the hell would she not include me? I can tell my tia is upset with my mom because usually we include her with everything. I mean, like, it's always just us three. Like, everybody knows us as just, like, the three amigas. Yes, amiga. Oh, see, amiga. Yes, amiga. This is, like, you guys, and you're calling an amiga sir, and what the f like, not an amiga? <laughs> And it's a business tour, exactly. too. Exactly. Like, like literally, that's all three of you. Literally, oh, three people, literally better, the people like, know us yes. as Name a Better Trio. Whenever is it Name a Better Duo? Me and Eileen. No, Watch, that's yeah. like mom or daughter. They're going to get to the tour, and they're going to be like, oh, where's this? Exactly, where's like they always With do. With her mans? No. Like they, I always say? No. <laughs> no, like they always do. <laughs> where's Lily? I miss With Lily. With her mans? And then I'm gonna be like, you should have brought her. Then I'll be like, hey, guys, <laughs> go on live. I actually was not invited. What do you think, Eileen? What's, what's your I know, take on like, the whole trip? You, are you cool with it? Because, you know, your mom always seems to plan everything. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's good. I mean, I would love to, like, meet other people that are, like, from you different... Too. Yeah, like, from different, like, out of state or something. Because it's, like, fun meeting all the girls down here, meeting new people all the time. Exactly. And I think, like, expanding would be super cute. And also selling, like, the products. I think this is a good business move if we go through with it together. I think so, too. Thank you, Amir. Thank you, Amir. Stop! You always have mad at you. We definitely want to keep pursuing, you know, the, the brands that are legit, that are taking care of our audience, and that are backing us up, and that we have someone to talk to if something is, is going on. Speaking of uh, taking our business in our own to another level. To another level. I have a something. different level. I have something for you, Eileen. Me? Okay. Yes. Okay. But I want you to take this gift, the surprise that I got, I have for you, and make sure that we use this wisely. And I think it's gonna be fun because okay, I feel like I feel like you need this in your life. Close I do. I literally never get surprises ever in my life or gifts or nothing. Bitch, you do get gifts. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I have this for you. Am I gonna cry? Probably. What? Okay. A dog. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a chihuahua. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> Just a head? Okay, okay guys. What's this? What is this? A bike? That's a bike. <laughs> Open it. Yeah. Oh, a cannon. A camera? Yes. Oh, oh my god! I just said yes because you said it's a cannon. What am I? Is it a bike or what? Is it makeup? Dude, you should have let her open it first. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god, now your videos are going to be on another level. The reason that I got this for you is because I, I've seen an improvement on your YouTube videos and I've also <laughs> seen comments that you need to improve your quality. I know, everybody keeps telling me mm -hmm. that, that, I need, that they're tired of my iPhone quality. Yeah, and your oh audio and all that god. stuff. So, thank you. You're welcome. Nice. I love it. Let me see. Thank you. What the heck? I definitely think that this camera will help me grow like in my like business because I can start filming more, growing my YouTube, having like better quality in my videos. That's also bringing more money to me too, so I think that's important. Oh my gosh, look, I'm wow. testing. So guys, I'm testing out my new camera. I love it. It's so cute. Finally, Amiga. So, I know, I can start getting my vlogging game up. I need to learn how to like look, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. What does everybody feel about my new can gift? My, can I see my gift? Are you guys jealous? Okay. Like it's it. all mine. I like well, it. Babe, you look good. Ooh, I do. Ew. Look at that. What the hell man is that? So I was super excited to get my camera that I just had to start filming like right away. And I just wanted to try it out. Well, before we leave. So I just feel like we should finalize the things for the Amiga store because we can't just leave with everything unsaid. Okay, so let's figure out something at the end of this month. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Are you available? As of now, yes, but maybe tomorrow I won't. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, wow. so let's do something at the end of this month. Let's try to figure out a day we can take some pictures and let's just start promoting, pushing and promoting it. The yeah. social media. Okay, yeah. deal. So I'm going. Yes. Okay. Yay! Woo! I know, it wouldn't have been the same without her. I know, you guys are so dumb. Because I know, but it I just wanted to teach you a lesson same. because I already know you. I agree. Well, frosted flake. Frosted flake. <laughs> what the <laughs> Duh, I was gonna bring her along. I just wanted to teach her like, hey, you can't mess with me and it's our time today, not your time, so yeah. So just know, Lily, that I do want you to take this serious and like both of you guys, because I'm not gonna be the only one doing all these sales and da 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 I just wanna make sure that we're all putting 100, not just 20, 20, and 100. Uh, that doesn't even make it look good. Know. <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. Yeah. Everybody has to put 100% of effort, okay? Okay. All right, so, amigas. Amigas tour. Amigas tour. Amigas tour. Woo! I think it's good that we're all able to go together and it's gonna be like the best time because we always have fun together. This trip is just gonna be way more fun with my tia Lily being there. They need me there because without me, it's like they're boring. Today I'm gonna show you guys how we packed around the house. So. You can see all the boxes over here in the kitchen. They so we had we had a little bit of mold, like more like a lot of mold, right? <laughs> I'm gonna show you upstairs. In my mom and dad's room, you can see it's not dirty. Not a little bit right there. They packed a lot of things. And in Lee's room, it's kind of crazy. And my sister has this junk still. Okay, now we're going to my mom's room. Look how how he looks. Looks horrible. But he's still packing. His TV's on the floor. Yeah, Armando um, cleaned out and gave some toys to me, so yay! Babe. Babe. Yes. Come over here. What's going on? Why do we still have all these boxes here, babe? Didn't I tell you to put them in the car already? Well, I told you if you wanted me to put them in there, but you told me to wait a little bit until the kids got more stuff in their boxes. Mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna just do an empty trip over there. No, but I need all of that stuff, and then we need to be out by tonight, babe. We have like a deadline, and well, the storage closes like around. Well, tell your kids to start hustling because to, I'm ready to start moving stuff. So let them know. I'm gonna go check the room, Rick. Did you fix the room too? Well, there's still some stuff out there that I need to fix, but. Today is the last day in our house. We literally need to make sure that everything is packed and moved out because we have to turn in our keys at midnight. Ay, ay, ay. He didn't even do anything. I've been telling him all day. Ooh, man, I'm tired. That belongs to Rick. That's all the Rick stuff. Ay, este hombre. Babe. I have all this stuff over here and only two hands, guys. Babe, can you come over here, please? Uh. Didn't you just call me downstairs? Yes, but you, I told you. Oh. All right, what do you need now? Babe, you said you had a little bit of stuff here. Look at all the stuff that's there. That's well, not a little bit I of stuff. I still got, I've been moving stuff downstairs Babe, all day pero, long. This is a lot of stuff. This is not okay. a little bit, you should have told. See, I cleaned out this house basically by myself. Look at that closet, empty. I go upstairs and the room is still the same. Like really, Ricky Rage? We only have like a few hours left and he still has a full closet in there. Nothing is moved and I'm already like getting frustrated. Like, I'm about to explode. Look at all this mess here. Hey, what are you guys doing? Packing. Nothing. Why is that stuff still there, Mando? That's like my, the stuff that, it's my clothes and stuff, I need that. Mando, but there's boxes downstairs. We need to get all that no, stuff. Those are like bags that have my stuff in I don't know, but why are you packing it in the closet? You need to take it well, out yeah, of the I closet. Know. That I looks like it's being packed. I go in Armando's room. That kid is just like his father. His closet was full of his still. And I'm like, really, Armando? These Padilla boys, I swear. Literally. Armando. Yeah. Take it out of okay. the closet. It has to be out tonight. You don't understand. It doesn't, it looks organized. I don't want organized. I want out. Okay, I'll take it out. Out of it, Mando. Look at all those shoes. That's why I've been giving you boxes all day. Oh, do you have any more And boxes? I am 100% serious about this, Armando. Your boxes are downstairs. And then look, you still have to. I know, I know. Shoo, she's crazy. All I hear her is yelling. I'm pretty sure it's my dad and Armando making her mad. I'm not surprised. You have an hour. He needs to get yelled at so he can listen. So, yeah, I feel bad for them. Literally? What? Hi, Jennifer. Hi. 
So you guys are just hanging out. Girls slumber party or what? Yeah, uh, what's not the big deal? Girl. Eileen, why do you have all this stuff? You should start taking it downstairs already. Mom, she's still packing. Mom, everything's packed up. I have to take this with me, like a carry-on, like if I'm going like somewhere like. So yeah. that's your carry-on. That's like what, my carry-on. A flight or something? Yeah, if I'm taking a flight on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just oh my god. I'm, I'm just. Kidding. I'm almost done. Everything's pretty much packed. Like you, like my curtains are off. Thank you, Jenny, for helping me take them. Oh, so Jenny has been a help. She hasn't been a distraction. She's a help. No, I so then I go and check in Eileen's room and Jenny, little best friend, is laying there like they have a sleepover or something. And I'm like, really, Eileen? Uh -huh. Okay, let me see your closet. My closet's pretty much empty. Oh, Those, oh my God, you know what? Give me a carry five. You have been Thank listening you. to me all day because that's all that's left is your carry-ons. My carry-ons, yeah. Cute. So, so I'm pretty much good, so stuff. you don't have to yell at me. Bye. I know, I seen. Did you hear me talking to your dad and Armando? They're like yeah. in slow They're motion. They're way behind, huh? Okay. Can't be me, All right. uh, You don't yell at me ever. No, you're good. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I think it was more Jenny, because Jenny listens to me more, so I feel like Jenny was the one that was helping her, because then I heard the vacuum, and Jenny was the one cleaning. So I think um, Eileen was using Jenny for her advantage, because she knew that she needed an extra hand in her room. And I already um, told your dad to get rid of this thing, and he's... No, he's, he's, keep, he's keeping that. He Why? said that. He said that it's just a prized possession, and that Oh, it's a prized cool. possession. And I'm like... That thing's old, you should get rid of it before I get it. I know, what is it? Do you know what that is? A uh, old, old present from Nino. But what is it? One of those things that play music. <sighs> she's man, like I'm telling you, man, she's everywhere. like zero to 100 real quick. Mm -hmm. She's everywhere. I know, but see, the thing is that she becomes like the supervisor and starts telling everybody. Yeah, she's just running around telling everybody what to do. How do you know it plays music? Because it looks like it. Throw it in the trash. That thing has been sitting in the house in the same spot for six years. I don't know what it is. We need to throw that old, old, old thing that plays music. No, you're not gonna throw anything away. It's yeah, mine. Babe, yeah. okay, what are you gonna need it for? Does it even match the house? It's, it's a collectible. Yeah, it's a collector's item. It doesn't matter, but where is it gonna go? It's not gonna go anywhere in the house. You don't leave even that think up about, to me. Okay, well, you it was, it was sitting me. in that corner for six years. Where so, are we and you didn't it? notice it till now? My mom and dad are arguing about like this raunchy old box that doesn't even have any meaning to it. But like my dad just likes to hold on to things, and my mom just thinks that if it's like trash, then why don't you just get rid of it? I don't even know what they're arguing about, honestly. But it's not that serious. Does it work? I, huh? It doesn't matter. It's a collectible. It doesn't have to work. Okay. Babe, but it's like an ugly color, and it's not nice. Oh well, let's throw let's throw your makeup box away. No, my you don't use it anymore. I do. It doesn't go with the house. Get rid of it. A little raunchy brown box. Because guess what? What? It's priceless. You can't put a price on that. Whatever, Whatever Rick. Dad, you should get rid of that raunchy thing. You should get rid of the toys you had when you were born, dude. You should get rid of your rescue old Legos. Yo. <laughs> and you don't even use them anymore, so might as well. Trash time. They're collector items. <laughs> All right, just like dad's old rusty thing. Well, Amanda, we'll bring that thing over here and put it next to the storage stuff that needs to go on storage. Trae esa cosa para acá. The thing? Yes, trae la para acá y echa, ponla acá. So, po, babe, don't give me that face. Stop. Honestly, put it, put that thing I'm over done. here. I'm done with this. Okay, I'm we're done. not gonna throw it away. I'm saying right. put it over here. Right, I'm already. I'm, I'm not taking it out through the I'm other side. The I'm gonna put it over with my other stuff, babe. I already told you. Don't worry about it. Okay, worry about your stuff. Let me pack well, my stuff. Well, that's the thing. I already packed everything. I don't have anything else okay, to do well, except wipe stuff out. Okay, well then you know what? Maybe you should out. sit down and uh, relax. Let's go. Let's go pack our stuff, Dad. You better. <laughs> so I just checked online. Seven hundred dollars. So is everyone relaxed now? I got you guys started. Are you relaxed? That's mm -hmm. the question, honey. I know, you've been on a good one all day. Stressing yourself out. I know, but it's yep. because you guys are not listening, but you know what? I mean, girl, this house looks pretty empty to me. Well, I think we're doing a good job getting most of this stuff packed and ready to, to go. <laughs> ready for the next chapter. I'm done with this house already. What do you guys have for good memories of this house? One good memory and then one bad memory. One well, that when you left in Virginia upstairs. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's very Fortnite virginity, Alina said. 
dumb. After all the craziness, we just sat down and really like reflected on like our time at the house. I think it was just like a good moment just to close out our chapter in the house. I feel like we've had like more good memories than bad memories here because, you know? Always but I'm not gonna miss the house, so don't even think that I'm over here saying, oh my God, Dad? Good memory, I think um, the day we invited like the entire family for New Year's. We were all together. Like, I'm Everyone. talking about that, everybody. That picture, right? Where we yeah. were all there? We Your partied, family, we partied to family? like, yeah, like four in the morning. Everyone, cool. everyone, like literally How everybody was there. Everyone slept this in whole, yeah. yeah, this whole area this was just full. Everyone slept in the living room. Yeah, that, 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 that was real cool. That. My cousins all slept in my room. Dude, room that's small. right. We had the Padilla and the Sparsa family. Everybody was here. I think that was real cool. We've been through a lot in this home. I feel more. I'm gonna say positive than negative, but yeah, we, we went through a lot. We've grown a lot in this house, and um, you guys became teenagers in this house. Are you gonna cry? Don't cry. No, I'm not gonna cry. I'm just, she just, is. She's just think cry. about it. You started middle school in this house. Yeah. Like. <laughs> and me from elementary all the way to high school. And then you true. went from literally elementary school to middle school with the big old bow. Do you remember <laughs> that day? <laughs> yes, I evolved in, definitely in this house. Started the whole MDQ here. Yeah, exactly. You see all the good things? Happened. Yeah. And then me still having braces. Got home school. Since elementary school? <laughs> My God, I can't. Since, 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 since we moved here. here. Yeah. <laughs> Just sitting there in that moment with the kids and Rick and just like talking about the good and the bad in that house, it helped me just like let go of it. I didn't want to leave that house on a sour note either. Like I didn't want to end up like saying that I hated that home because I don't because I saw my kids grow up in that home. You guys don't understand. Like we're getting out of here. Yeah. Everybody's working hard for that. Yeah. Finally. Right? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're overdue. Like, yes, way overdue. My room I lived in for six years with no God. AC and no light. Yeah, that's why you're all like dusty and yes. like oily. Yes. No, Do you know how much allergy? We're gonna have wood floors, guys. We're not gonna have brunch carpet like this. We're gonna have a beautiful kitchen, something we don't even have. Like, I'm so thankful for everything. Like, this house has taught me a lot as a mom. You know, to take care of you guys, be a better mom to you guys. Like, I've learned a lot, especially the last few months. Like, I've learned to be patient. Like, it's yeah. okay. I have to be I patient think. about it. And, and, Things happen and I feel like finally, like, you know, it took us this long to finally buy our own house, guys. And, and you know what, the moment that we moved here, I told your dad, we're not leaving unless we buy a house. And it took us six years. This is the fresh start that we this all wanted. This is what we needed, yeah. This is like a fresh start that's gonna, a lot of other things are gonna start happening, so. More positive, just think, of, of, think of all the good things that we can do, like, you know, just, just living in a house that has better AC, you know? And a nice backyard. A nice yeah. backyard. She's really like the heart of the family because if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't even be moving out. She's just like the one that runs the house. So I think that now that she's seen that her hard work is paying off, she's getting really emotional. But we couldn't have done it without you guys. You guys honestly made it happen because you guys put in the I mean, effort me and all Armando, the time. You know, you guys are the head of the household. So no, thank you guys. You guys You're honestly welcome. made it happen. Like. We're doing this for you guys, for you guys too, because we want to, like, sooner or later, eventually, we'll, we'll, life is life. We're gonna go. I know. It just you can't that stop that. that. It, Eileen, we're getting And we here. want to, we want to leave you guys at least something. Yeah, you literally, know? that's what. That's at why least something for like when we're gone. At least you guys are gonna be taken care of. You guys don't have to ask anybody for anything. You know. Hey, we've gone this far and we're still together. That's what we should be proud, proud yeah. of. So. I'm so happy. You're gonna move, move. You're gonna live with us for another year, Eileen. Yeah. No. 10 more years. I think he was she's gonna she's move gonna out. Enjoy, she's gonna enjoy it for a what? little bit. I need to when, enjoy it at least. When we move and she sees what we have, she's not gonna wanna go. Elena, sometimes she gets really emotional. I feel like she realized too that, you know, this is like the real deal. Like we're closing out this chapter of our life and moving on to a new one. And Elena has her Elena, own room yeah. now. Elena has her own room now. Yay. Slumber parties. Ooh, babe, we have our own walk-in restaurant. Yes, closet. and it's away from Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm happy, guys, and I'm sorry that I've been a pushy bitch all day today, but. Okay, we wouldn't get things done if it wasn't for you. I know. I really appreciate it, because I'm telling you, if it wasn't for her, then we would all, we wouldn't know what to do, honestly. It's gonna be okay. We got this, guys. Yeah. All okay. right. We're good. Cheers, guys. Cheers to new beginnings. Cheers, cheers. Let's go then. Let's finish packing then. <laughs>
Back to business. Very excited for the next chapter. Super excited for the new house. You guys don't even know. Ready for the new life. Bye. Hi. Hi. Did you guys say hi to each other? Say the salud? Yeah. Okay, good. I was like, well, I didn't think he was going to say hi to you. <laughs> For more Quinta content, make sure to check out Awesomeness TV's new Quinceanera channel. Click here to watch my new season.